Cooking with the vegan zombie. Guys, that was a close call. But you know what? It's still Mexican themed, so I'm a happy camper. This episode is gonna focus on some sauces. We're gonna do a cashew sour cream, and we're also gonna do kind of an enchilada sauce that I think you're gonna love. So we're gonna get started with a couple cashews in your Blendtec blender or any other high-speed blender that you have at home. And you're gonna put in about a quarter of a cup of water. You're gonna start with a quarter cup and add as you go. Cause you don't wanna put too much water or you're gonna have a bad time. So we got our water in there. We got our cup of cashews. We're gonna squeeze the juice of one lemon in there. Squeeze, oop, you got a squirter. That was a juicy lemon. And now we are going to blend before we add any spices. So we got a thick cream going on here, a little too thick for sour cream, but we're gonna stop here. We're gonna add a teaspoon of cumin and a teaspoon of ground mustard powder. I have some Himalayan salt here, pink Himalayan salt. I'm gonna put a teaspoon of that in as well. You can use regular sea salt if you can't find this. Why is my voice so high? And we'll add a little bit more water, maybe another couple tablespoons there. And blend for 30. 31 seconds. So we put a total of a half a cup of water in there and you can see it's thick. I got me a fancy little squirt bottle to make it all sexy on the plate. Um, you can just dollop it on top of whatever the heck you're gonna put it on, that's fine. Bloop, bloop, bloop. We got our cashew sour cream hanging out in this squeeze bottle ready to be used. Next. I'm going to prepare for you an enchilada sauce that's gonna knock your Mexican socks off. It, unless you're not Mex, well, oh God, awkward. We're gonna start with this enchilada sauce with five to six diced tomatoes and any juices that are left over from the seeds. I, I take the seeds out after I dice them up and I put them through a strainer, so that's where all that water's from. You're gonna add it to a medium high heat in a sauce pan. Basically, you just wanna let those tomatoes cook down by themselves for 15 minutes or so. Maybe turn the heat down to low after they start to really fizzle around in there and get all excited. In the meantime, we're gonna show you some chilies. Let me introduce you to a few chilies of mine. I've got two dried chipotles, one ancho, and two red hot chili peppers. I'm going to take the seeds out of every single one of these uh, because I just don't want a seedy sauce. A couple seeds here and there aren't going to kill you. Or will it? I got my dried peppers de-seeded and I'm just going to toss those in with the tomatoes. I want them to reconstitute or rehydrate, if you will. I want those juices to get back into the skin and soften it up. You can do it in a cup of warm water, but since we're cooking the sauce, you can throw them right in as is. He shoots his scars! Now this, chili pepper. It can be cayenne, it can be whatever you can get your hands on. This determines the heat of your sauce. So, be careful. Um, I'm a big wimp and you all know this, so I got two of these, and that's probably gonna be enough to burn my face off. But, uh. I'm gonna do it for you guys. We're gonna throw those in as well. We are gonna add two tablespoons of vinegar to our saucepan. One, two, and a half-ish. And a teaspoon and a half of sea salt. Why am I yelling? Now we just have to let that cook for about 15, 20 minutes till everything softens up. It's been about 20 minutos. And I am now going to take all of this deliciousness and add it to the blend tech. I love the smell of Chipotle. Can I just, can I be honest with y'all? So I'm gonna blend this up. Whenever you're blending a hot liquid, if you don't wanna put boiling water all over your finger like I just did, make sure you pull this off, put a paper towel or a damp cloth on the top to let that steam release. Um, otherwise, it's gonna do what just happened and burn your fingers right off. Once that camera shuts off, I'm gonna start crying. We are gonna <laughs> add a little bit of water probably about a half of a cup. And just blend it for another 10 or 15 seconds. You spin me right round, baby, right round like 
round, 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 round. Okay, that was 20 seconds because I was having a lot of fun. I'm gonna add a little bit more water. It's just a little too thick. So you're you're about a half a cup or three quarters uh, of a cup of water in this recipe. Sloppy. At this point, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of coconut palm sugar. So there's two tablespoons of that. OGO wholesome sweeteners. Those are just a few examples of companies that sell great vegan products. Another teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of garlic powder, and you're done. Stir it in and let it sit. So there you have it, guys. You got a delicious, spicy, smoky enchilada sauce, and you have a cashew sour cream. Both are gonna be great toppings in our next videos. We got enchiladas and burritos coming up, so make sure you guys stick around for the next videos. Don't forget to check out our other channel, The Vegan Zombie 2, where we're gonna be posting all sorts of behind the scenes vlogs. It's funny stuff because I am an idiot in front of the camera. And just be safe. A lot of zombies out there. People! Keep on peeping!